Welcome YouTube. This is going to be a fun story time for you all. So I had the bright idea on my Twitch stream to go through one of my favorite failures for Weep Shirts, my clothing company, and maybe I'll even impart some lessons and what I learned from it. So this is the story of how I spent approximately slash exactly $52.50 for one of my first ever failures. So it was, and I have it right here in front of me, it was September 8th, which is actually scary because it means we're almost at the two year anniversary of when this whole crazy journey started. September 8th, the real Mars bar decided, hey, I need a logo for my soon to be online store, weebshirts.com. And what better place to look than, for me at the time, Fiverr. So on Fiverr, I was searching for people, searching for people, and I guess this one was pushed towards the front of the search results, which I later realized you can pay to be in the front. You know, it's like promoted. So this person was in the promoted, the front part. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll fill it out, whatever. I'll figure it out. 50 bucks for a logo. People say that's pretty decent. Hopefully I get some good stuff. I guess I looked at her examples and it worked out nicely. So whatever, I'll try it out. So, and I'm gonna, I have a whole chat log finished in front of me. So this is gonna be amazing. Mascot, question mark. This is the person. So mascot, mascot name. This is me. Yes, a dog either just stomach up like my rough designs or perhaps on all fours and barking. Mascot's name is Aki. Aki, if you need any more information, feel free to ask. In broken caps lock, have a look. This was day after, day after. Also, oh, please tell me I have my rough draft. I think I might. Holy crap, this YouTube video just got way better. Aki, A-K-I, A-K-I. Holy crap, okay, okay. So sorry YouTube, this will be ugly, but this was the original draft designs. Also, I don't blame them at this point why it came out so terrible. Look at the draft, the rough draft designs that I gave them. <laughs> what is this? This is a square. This is a square flicking me off. So this is why you hire for what you can't do. I can't graphic design, and you can tell from these rough draft designs, holy crap, that is amazingly terrible. So in hindsight, I could see why this person probably had a rough time figuring out what to do. Okay, so that aside, she looks at the rough draft, I guess, and comes up with this, this very first, the first long descent, I had the tagline, and I still do, catch me at a con. All right, what you see here is not actually a copyright infringement from Nickelodeon. This is what she gave me for the first draft of the design. This Nickelodeon ass looking shit. It's not even doing a finger. It just has his paw up like... Catch me at a con. This was, this, I had paid at the time, you have to imagine. This is the first, so it was, I think, unlimited revisions. And we'll see why in a second. Unlimited revisions, and she gives me a goddamn Nickelodeon character. Nickelodeon dropout. Oh my god. And so, this is me, the real Mars Bar, super cordial. Hi, Danny. Uh, first off, want to say it's looking really good so far. You could tell it was a little... Bitch. I didn't know how to tell uh, to be fair even nowadays. I'm not like oh, this looks like trash I was being nice. I was like, I'm not gonna tell him it looks bad, right? Cuz I kind of want to work with him, right? I just have a couple things uh, That I can get it closer to what I had in mind. Let's do a red circle around Maybe the middle stomach and face of the mascot think like Looney Tunes This person probably doesn't even have Looney Tunes in whatever country they're from Anyway, the mascot itself can be a little more age-appropriate for my mid-twenties, late-twenties audience. So no smile, 
I had this character doing more of a, shmir a smirk in my mind. And less rounded face, blah, blah, blah. So I have an edit. It was great. Bro, that, sh that would be the shit for your kids. Okay, I'm sure your kids would have thought that would have been great. And so, I'm going to show y'all one sec. So this was the edit that I made of her character. Please. All right. This is where I cut for YouTube and I say I don't know what I'm doing. One sec, one sec. Jesus, it was so bad, dude. So this is the edit. Dun, 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 dun. This is the edit I gave her. Right, so notice, no smile, I made it into a smirk. Uh, red circle border. Uh, evil eyes, you know, e eyebrows to show that it's, you know, bad. And like a smirk, you know, that's a very obvious smirk. And so, let's see how this goes. Accept my apologize. And I don't want, I don't want to like shit on people's English, because to be fair, that's not, that's not something to shit them on for. What we can shit them on for is, don't worry, I will fully satisfy you. Thank you, that's nice. This is what I got next. This is number two. Holy crap. One sec. Uh. This was number two. This is after my suggestions to uh, make it a little more age appropriate. Uh, for reference, nothing was changed actually of the uh, original character as per my uh, request. Nothing was changed. I could put this picture right there and it's the same thing. But she added the circle, which I, I it has to be red. And I mean, I, I guess the stars were nice. She may have, she might have actually looked up Warner Bros. But yeah, imagine. Okay, so look at my logo now. Imagine if this was my logo. I would have never have gone with it. But like, yo, I paid fifty dollars. So let's see what's my reaction. <clears throat> okay, I appreciate the effort, but I think we can get started on another logo in the meantime. Oh, th at the time I wanted an, um, a, lo a logo for me. And I think for this order, it was like two logos or something. As for the mascot and logo, I need a lot more revision because it's not coming out quite like I want right now. Let me know what you need from me to get started on the other one. And then I send some changes. I send literally... <sighs> okay, let's see. This was the second round of changes I think that this person did. Same thing? It might be the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. So still Nickelodeon as book. Yeah. Okay. So then, at this point, I'm probably like, wow, I spent money on this. I'm going to make sure she revises as much as I freaking can. Okay. So it still looks... The exact same, actually, because she sent, like, the same thing. So I'm like, all right, let's try a new plan. Let's not have the mascot anymore and just make a logo for Weep Shirts with Catch Me at a Con under it. I think the mascot idea might not work out for me after all, because you suck. I hope this isn't too much work, and I'm sorry I ended up not needing the mascot. I think a Weep Shirts would work fine as a logo instead. Then this person, day after... Uh, except my apologize. Could you explain? Oh, so this is good. So she takes that like, hey, maybe we need to make some changes and we get, uh oh, barbecue flavored border. Yummy. So she's like, okay, yeah, you don't want it anymore. That's fine. Well, what if I made it burnt orange? You like burnt orange? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look look how much we strayed from God. Oh my God. I was like, it's, uh, okay, it's not really barbecue. Barbecue would have been more brown. You know what I mean. Um, let me know if you need any revision. It's just that it's not coming out. Overall, damn, this is where I start ripping into her. Overall, I don't think you've quite understood that this logo is supposed to be like a mean dog that's flipping people off. 
this logo is for teenagers who are fun and into partying. This was this was my entire Weep Shirts like mission statement was Weep Shirts will be like the cool brand for the cool people that like the cool stuff. Holy crap, bro. And I break it down for her even more. This is my second round of edits. Oh my god, okay. So my second round of edits I send to this person. Very, very precise. I say, hey, look, we need a meaner face. This isn't for kids. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't serve kids. All right. No smile, ears less pointy, head less rounded. This is for a dog, not a cat. Color can be a little brighter. Less thick circle, no stars. And you got to realize, y'all, I'm working with what I got. I am not the graphic design person. I do not graphic design. This is why I hired for my weakness. And there's something to say there for owning a business and doing really anything in life where you might have to work in a partnership or with other people or in a team. But graphic design isn't my thing. And I'm perfectly okay with hiring someone to do it. This beautiful story is all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down with the most ridiculous ass Nickelodeon logo. And wait till the end because it only gets worse. Accept my apologize. Have a look. Don't worry, I will fully satisfy you. So after that edit picture that I just had, this is this is what she gives me. This was my uh one two three four four fifth provision logo <sighs> for, for reference i wanted to for reference i wanted to yeah she said and i like to quote i said this is for a teenage slash 20s to mid 20s audience Please make the dog look less whatever. And I got... So this puppy actually made it to Nick Jr. So the first puppy didn't make it to Nickelodeon. This one actually is actually a really famous dog on uh, Nick, Nick Jr. Actually. So on the mornings, you can catch it. Uh, not where my logo goes, but on Nick fucking Jr. Is where you can find this one. Yeah. Yeah. And I think at this point, I was like... Final product was all right. I just think the seller didn't have the style I was looking for. Bro, I'm such a bitch. And didn't quite understand the changes I was trying to have done. Unlimited revisions is nice, but damn. Are y'all ready for the heat I dropped on this person for no reason? I said, and I quote, unlimited revisions is nice, but quotation mark. Measure twice and cut once. End quotation marks. Bro, why did I have to drop so much fucking heat? Two years ago, I dropped that kind of fire on that person, bro. I told her measure twice, cut once. I seven habits this person. I was on one two years ago. Holy crap. And I gave her 2.3, I guess, out of five stars. <sighs> so, to bring it towards a close, I spent $52.50 on real life, uh, real life experience of working with a designer, making sure that I was clear in my instructions making sure that I was giving them the benefit of the doubt, making sure that I was providing them as much tools and resources to, you know, make sure that they make something great that I can use. I, I always looked at this first like 50 bucks that I spent as like learning money. Like the one thing about learning a business or owning and operating and figuring out your own business is you're gonna spend money and you're gonna learn and you're gonna fail a lot, right? And I, I guess you could say I'm, I'm proud that I didn't let this be one of the things that stopped me, you know. I feel like a lot of people 
and I'm sure somewhere at some point in time or another, someone has had this experience where something went to complete shit early enough on that they just never recovered from or they never bothered dealing with. They just kind of quit. So I'm glad uh, close to two-year-old me uh, didn't quit because it just showed me that I needed to find a designer that would actually work out with me. And I did work out with someone. I spent $52.25 on the next person. And it was literally two revisions and I was done, man. It was literally... Let's see, I'll open it up. Okay, this is actually kind of ugly, but with the next person that I started working with, it was as simple as, hey, Okay, this was a this was the it was a goddamn chihuahua. So I was like, okay, I can work with this. And this person was actually like I had actually looked at the examples they've done. That was actually pretty scary. I totally forgot that he had made a fucking chihuahua at the start. But I, I could tell from that from just seeing that first one, I was like, oh okay, we're actually onto something. And then it was just one more round of yeah okay i literally googled shiba inu and i was like hey i actually don't want a chihuahua i wanted a shiba inu and it's amazing watch this is probably it yeah and then after that that one literally one back and forth one back and forth look what we got beautiful beautiful GotWeepShirts.com. Got Aki. This is the, one of the first original shirts. I now have the Weep shirts on the back, but it's beautiful, right? And so that goes to show I didn't need to quit. I just needed to find other people. And I took all the, you know, the waiting and learning and offering suggestions, recommendations, and giving resources to this other person. And... Ta-da! We ended up with the logo that I currently have today. In fact, I think I wanted to go back to this order and make sure that I get the the PSDs and everything. This, like, hopefully, this was this is actually at the end of the month. So at the beginning of the month, I had this issue with the other person, and then this was towards the end of the month. But yeah, so that's that. That's the story of my favorite. Uh, wasted fifty dollars of weep shirts right 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 close to the beginning the beginning 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 of weep shirts now closing up to basically two years from when i had first started and that's it uh if you like more stories like that and like me kind of talking about the history of weep shirts and the stuff that i've done um challenges and things that i've had to face uh, leave a comment below and let me know and I'd be happy to do anything if you have any questions always feel free to reach me at any of my socials at the real Mars bar on anything that you could think of that matters and I think that's it I hope you enjoyed the story have a good one freeze frame oh man okay okay we're done we're done